Now first we're gonna start the Somali history. When I say Somali history, I mean your history. Where your parents came from. Where your origin was started from. So, where Somali means. Have you ever asked to your parents, who are you able? Somali has a cut in it. Maga a Somali in New York. Maga a Somali in Shell in New York. Huh? Yeah? Mogi. Okay. Come on. Somali. Okay. Have you ever asked to your parents? No. The word Somalis, there's two, three different theories. Some say Somal. Who knows Somal? You know? Where do we get the milk from? Huh? Cows. The cows. Which part of the cow do we get the milk? From their priests. They have a big breast there. So we milk it from their priests. So that's where we get the milk. In Somali, when you want to make the milk from the cow, we say Somal. And usually, Somali, they used to welcome their guests when they come to their home, and they, you say, oh, mama, go on, Somal left. Means bring a milk for him, for that guest. So the word came from Somal. That's one theory. The other one, it says Somali. Somali. Somali, the word originally means the good one. So what's our Somali diet? Ad an ano. Yes, exactly. So Somali diet, usually we say ad an ano, means milk and meat. We don't have rice, we don't have spaghetti, we don't have potatoes. So we, our diet originally is, what's American diet? Ori I don't mean America today. The original American diet. What is it? Corn and? Corn and? And, and maize. And, yeah. See? But Somali is meat and milk. So we can say Somal means came from the milking. Somal means came from the meat. Somal means a wealth family. So that's where your name came from. But the biggest question is, where are the Somals? We know everybody in the world where they came from. And this is also, there's another controversial. Where the original of Somali came from? There's a lot of questions. Nobody knows so far, originally, where they came from. But there's other ideas or theories that people, they say in different parts. So that one is the, the one of the theories. Some. We don't know. Some they say from Arabs. No, we are not from the Arabs. Maybe the modern Somalis. But origin of Somalis. Okay, can you can you turn for me, please? Okay, Somali history. Somali people is one of the several ethnic group in East Africa known as Kushites. Or Kushitic. So we are from Kushitic. So even though we are from Kushitic, some group says we are from Kushitic, but which Kushitic are we from? Some they say, okay, we are the lost Eastern Kushitic known as Makododo, who are landed in Maher Coast between His and Bosaso. <laughs> Eastern Kushitic, those who are living in Eastern Indian area, Somali area, is called Makododo. Because we have other Kushitics like the Oromo, like the Borana, so all are like Amara, Amara is originally from Arabs. And from Prophet Sullivan. But the question is, this Mokododo is, they are landed in Maher Coast, which is between His and Bosaso. So Bosaso today we know it is Buntiland, and His is somewhere in that area, between Somaliland and Buntiland. But originally we call it Somali. These are new names. Okay, can you go next? Okay, location. Where is Somalia are located? If you have been asked, okay, Mr. Mr. Jeremy Harder, uh, Jeremy B, ask you, where are you located at? If you don't know. It's, we are Eastern African, bordering with the Gulf of Aden, an Indian Ocean. 
east of Ethiopia. So we are in that area. When we say Eastern Africa, we mean it's Kenya and that Indian Ocean. Total area of Somali is 637,657 square feet, total, including the water. So when we say the land is 627,337 square kilometers. So the water, sea, including sea, which means Indian Ocean and Gulf of Aden, is 10,320 square feet, square kilometers. Five times, if you came to America, one of the states, five times the size of Alabama, and slightly smaller than Texas. So now, because you're eighth grade, you might study American history, and all the history nowadays we learn is mostly is the state of Minnesota and America. So this is how you can explain if someone asks you the size of Somali, where they are and where they are. If you need a copy of this one, I can give a copy to Mr. Jeremy B and he can give you. Okay, next. Still, we have the same connection with our first one. Somali harbors in natural ports called for traders, sailing. Mostly that's how we get the religion, Islam religion, because the Arabs came from the ocean part, sailing and from India. So the coastline of the region is much visited by foreigners, in particular Arabs and Persians. But in the interior Somali are left for their own devices. But mostly where the civilization comes, the coastal area. We have more civilized people. In the hinterland, we have the farmers and the Bessarians, the people who look after the animals. But the question is, before these traders and foreigners came, have you ever had Heshep shoot? In Somali, we say Heshep shoot. That's the, the princess or the queen of Egypt. About 2,000, about 5,000 years ago, she sent an expedition to Somalia. And because we don't have that Suez Canal where there's a link between Egypt and the Red Sea. But those people, there were a lot of people, like over 2,000 expeditions, including writers, craftsmen, farmers, readers, teachers. There's a lot of people in that group. And also a laborer who carries the boats because they cannot sail from Egypt to Somalia because the canal was made sometimes in 1800. And nobody can cross through. So they carry all the boats across to the Red Sea. Hesep Sud expedition came to Somalia and they take what you call Mehdi or the Foha Bashan Utkul Wushit. And that's where it came. For example, have you had Pharaohs are still alive? If you go to the, you will see their body was prevented. So that usually comes from Somalia. That's why they called Puntilan, means the land of essence. It smells good. Because they used to get all those things that essences that they panic when they are having rituals. But that's why some parts say, okay, Somalis are not from Arabs, but the first Arab came to Somalia in 1860. And there are two brothers who has been expelled from Yemen, and their name was Hassan and Hussein. But Somali people were there even before the pharaohs. That's why the Egyptian people, when you see, when they see you, they call it Ardul Aydaduna. Oh, you came from the land of our grand, grand, grandfathers. So some of the Somali, they believe they are the descendant of the pharaohs of Ra'inti. Have you ever had pharaohs? Moses, new Muslim, who was fighting with? Yeah, in Somali we say Fir'aun. But in English we say pharaoh. Pharaoh means the grade of sun god Re. In Somali, that word, we have it also. Pharaoh means, Fa means the great of sun god Re. Fir'aun is not a name, it's a title. This is it's a quick synopsis of Somali and how they were before. 13th to 17th century, Somali was ruled by the Ajuran Sultanate. There's a Somali tribe called Ajuran. Now, there are only few in South Somalia, and I think I saw a group 
in somewhere called Wajer area. They have a call Buro Tarbanje. There's also that tribe I lives. But Ajuran, they were very powerful kingdom in Somalia. Then in 1875, Egypt occupied Somalia, of course, parts of interior. So they live in the coastal area and part of the interior of Somalia. In 1860, French acquired footholds on Somali coast and later became Djibouti. So Somalia was divided. That's the only country. I think there are only two countries that has been divided five in the world. Somali is one of them. The other people that has been divided into five are Kurdis of Iraq. There are also some in Syria. There are some in, in Iran. There are some in Turkey. So those ones, they are divided into five. Somali were also divided into five. That's why our flag shows a star with five corners. So one corner is Southern Somalia, which is Mogadishu area. The second one is Northern Somalia, which is around Hargeisa. The third one is Djibouti, which has been given to French. Because Southern Somalia was occupied by the Italian. Northern Somalia was given to British. And French Somaliland, which is Djibouti, was given to French. So the other two parts, one part was given Kenya, which we call it NFD, Northern Frontier District. That's Mandera, Moyale, Marsebet, Wajer. So there are five districts in that area. So the other part is called Western Somalia, which has been given to Ethiopia. So there was a war in 1977. So that was between the Western Somalia and Somalia Abu. So that's only two countries that have been divided into five because we don't know the question you might be the historian one day and we need the answer from you guys okay in 1887 british proclaimed the protector of somaliland that's where i was telling you have this area in 1888 angola french agreement was defined in the boundaries somali was made into a boundaries that's why since 1960 we have been in a Okay, in 50s, so Somaliland, because we, Somali was divided into five, and how it came. This is all chronological. So, British, so Somali get independent in northern Somalia or southern Somalia. Which one get independent first? Who goes to Somali Day in July 1st on Carmel area, Lake Street? They always talk about this. Okay, do you go? Have you ever been there? Somali Day. How many of you have been to Somali Day? Yeah. City of, City of Minneapolis, they, they recognize Somali Day as of July 1st. So they close all the way down to Carmel into Lake area. So people, they play, they have music, they have Somali history, they all talk about it. So the first group was Northern Somalia, and they get the independence from British on June 26, 1960. Five days later, southern Somalia was given an independent from Italian. So this is the roots, how we have connected to the world. This I talked about. I didn't show you before. Okay, can we go next? So Somalia used to have money in beforehand, and the money looked like that. So this is one of Al Manara. So this is Masjid Abd Aziz it still exists. It was built in 18th century. Can we go next? So this is Masjid Al Barukun. So this Masjid is center of Somalia in Mogadishu. Because when I graduated from the university, my teacher asked me to write it about something about this Masjid. My my thesis to be Al Barukun. Then I contacted several people. I could not read it, but I never get a good history. But this mosque was when the Somalis never been in the band. There were some Arabs living in Mogadishu area. So there were four different tribes. None of them could be, they wanted to nominate a king. None of them could be a king. Because each tribe wanted to be the king. So how did they say, okay, we have four tribes. How can we share that? Then they said, okay, let's wait then. 
Then later, a man called Fakhruddin, who was a Soma Muslim scholar, came, who was a different Arab. Then he used to lead the prayers in this masjid. This masjid has a big history. Then he became, they said, okay, since this is the most knowledgeable person in Islamic and religion, and also he's a scholar, why don't you make him the king? So because you don't want, I don't want you to be my king, so none of us wants to be the king for each other. So they call, they establish that kingdom, and that kingdom is called Fakhruddin Kingdom. And the center of that kingdom used to be that Arba Rukun. Arba Rukun means the four pillars. So it has four corners. It's a small mosque. I prayed in it. It's the center of which it still exists. So that's why that his, this one has that history. Next. So this is the map of Somalia. So this is Ethiopia. This is the Western Somali. This is Djibouti. It was given French. This is Northern Somalia. It was given the, the British. This is Southern Somalia. It was given to Italy. And Northeast starts from here. So this is Kenya Somalia border. So that's how the Somalis was divided. So this is the stars. So each represents into one. Next. Okay, this is the Somali culture. Do you know we have a Somali museum in Minnesota? Museum? Yeah. How, how, who visited there? Have you ever been there? They have all of these items. So this is the utensils that we use for eating. These are all the Somali culture. This is handmade. Nothing is machine made. Even the cloth is handmade. Everything was made by Somali ladies, mostly, not male. Male, mostly they do this one. All the wooden part was made by the male. So this is how people, they take care of themselves. This is the culture of Somalis. So they are drowning water. The camel, that's why it's very important in Somalia, or also in Arabs. So mostly ladies, they bring water, but the male, they grasses the animal. Okay, now, the northern Somali gets independent from, this is what I was telling you now, from Britain in June 26, 1960, and southern from Italy in July 1st. So north and south, they unified and they established Somali Republic on July 1st, 1960. Is it done? Okay, so do we have any question? You could say more, but I want to give a time for myself. Thank you.